gospel and the very thing that makes us apathetic and pathetic is invested in a cause bigger than us <coughs> that gives a return way better than any bank could ever give. So, missions is an all hands, whole church approach. You pray about what God wants you to do with the message tonight. Pray about your Jerusalem, your Judea, Samaria, and the other most part. Pray about going TDY. Amen? Amen. On your dime, pray about it. Check with pastor. Find out what missionaries need help. And, and organize that. Let pastor, you know, at least, you know, check it. Don't just jump on the horse and ride off in all directions. You know what I'm saying? I know pastors right now think, boy, I sure wish I was there to kind of, you know, make sure that, you know. But, you know, Spurgeon said it well. Spurgeon said it well. Concerning the zeal of believers, especially new believers, I remember Gary Pris, and I think I put him in an early grave as a new believer. Zeal, man. I was I was just after it, on the base, off the base, man. I mean, I was threatening court martial, getting court martialed by the Marine Corps on my time for simply holding a Bible study in the barracks. But, you know, with the, the, the lewd fellows of the base or sore, Marines and, and, and naval personnel, you know what I mean? I mean, I started that Bible study up. And I put Bible verses on that door. And I remember they centerfolded my door. I'm like, oh, that one got them. So I pulled the centerfolds off. Put a, we had Bible verse wars and centerfold wars on my door for two and a half years. In the second, second story of the barracks. That was me. I mean, Jesus saves. These boys need help. You know what I mean? And Spurgeon said of those zealous believers. He said, you know. I'd rather be putting fires out than trying to light wet wood. Mm -hmm. I know, Dr. Hoffer, you're watching. and Bill me for the fires if it happens. <laughs> Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And there's a freedom we offer in Jesus Christ that's unbelievable. And the greatest work you ought to do is get the gospel. I don't know where this message will go. I don't know how it will get you. I don't know what it will be percolate from you, from the pew to the pastor. But I want to let you know this great commission was not just given to you, Pastor. And this great commission was not just given to those professional commission missionaries. It was given to the enlisted and officer alike. And the first great missions movement was not the Apostle Paul and the Apostles. It was the common church members that went everywhere preaching. Jesus Christ. Light and fire. We got the New Testament now. And the same Holy Spirit that validated them validates us and will do supernatural things if you'll step out and get the gospel to you. <coughs> At once, I believe it can happen again before Amen. Jesus Christ returns. Amen. Your ground zero. If you were, would the world be safe in your hands? Let's bow hearts before the Lord. Let's bow hearts just for a moment. Father, we thank you tonight for